the one faithful watchman still patrolling the streets of Stone Market Plaza. For some reason, the others all seem to have disappeared. I won't lie to you, if I seem a little impatient, it's because I did buy the new Silent Hill yesterday, and, you know, I've been starting to play it while I, my videos for this process and upload, and, you know, it lacks polish, but, I don't know, I just like Silent Hill games, and so far it's a pretty good one. It's no Silent Hill 2, but... Move in behind the homes, like always. Grab this moss arrow before we head to the Keeper Library. Praise your deity of choice that the enforcers are gone. That makes things so much easier. And let's get ready for another scene. You'd think Orland would say sorry, but no. Unfortunately, the enforcers are quite ineffectual against her. So, what are you gonna do? She's found the final glyph. Final glyph? The last of all glyphs. It's a very powerful weapon. She will undoubtedly activate it, and in doing so, wreak untold suffering, and also ensure her complete invulnerability for all time. Keeper Orland, the treasures are gone. Gamal has taken the chalice and the paw. Gone? The artifacts? Then it was Gamal who wanted them, not... not Kataka. You see, I... I received these notes that... I thought that they were from Kataka. Until they kept coming, even after she was dead. It appears we have made things easy for Gamal. But what does she intend to do with the artifacts? There is no way to know, except... She must have a hidden lair, some place where she has taken our missing books. You could find it, Garrett. A thief could find it. Her lair? Yeah, I have an idea where it might be. Then you must go. Go now and kill her. If only you could find a way to destroy the final glyph. Make sure it can never be activated. Let me see if I've got this right. You want me to find Gamal's lair? Learn what she wants your treasures for, kill her, and find and destroy this final glyph? Anything else? How dare you act so high and mighty! Enough speeches, Orland. You've already had your turn. Yet, there is truth in his words. A sequence of events was started when you stole the chalice and the paw. The glyphs did warn us. Right. Glyphs. As if I could forget. So, the objective. Translator Gamal, the hag in disguise, is the one you've been after this whole time. Return to the Keeper Library to inform the Keepers is complete. We now have a new objective. Go to Aldale, figure out where Gamal's hidden lair is located, then break into it. Steal back both the chalice and the paw from Gamal's lair. Search Gamal's lair for clues about the final glyph and why she wants the artifacts. Sweet. I'll do a real save here. Never forget your true calling. Let's clean the place out before we go anywhere. That includes Isolde's wand. Have you no respect at all? Oh, lifted it right off my belt. And now just the usual litany of goodies. The copper ring out here. Thankfully the regular keepers aren't hostile anymore. 
I wonder if we're still forbidden from the Forbidden Library. I'd wager we are. I'll no, no, they hadn't even finished the ceremony. <laughs> well, there it is. Yep. Even after all that, I'm still not allowed in the Forbidden Library, and I fail the mission if I get caught there. How do you like that? So let's try that again. To nab I sold his wand just cuz. Pickpocketing is fun. Uh, could someone have just taken it? You'll have to forgive my haste. I'm playing day eight without a practice run, and I didn't realize there were two new people there, much less that. I still wasn't allowed in the Forbidden Library, which is kind of hilarious, actually, but... No, no, they hadn't even finished the ceremony. Keeper Thackeray says she was right in the middle of her transitioning statements. Imagine vowing to speak only truth, then... I heard she caught a discarded glyph with her bare hands. Caught it? and then changed it somehow, threw it right back at Keeper Marcus. He... his head... I know. The hole in the wall where she fled. Thackeray says she must have a lair. Some place where she feels safe. They say she's the one who's been taking the books, not Garrett. Keeper Rain said that they think she's extended her life. They're checking the books, assuming she's had to change her appearance. Her name, who knows how many times. She must have found glyphs that we don't know about. Kamal's knowledge of glyphs may be well in excess of any elder. Might use them to shapeshift, extend her life. But to do that, she needs an energy source. Something organic, something human. Thackeray says she's to blame for all the troubles. Murders, missing books, disappearances, everything. Maybe, but Keeper Reigns told me to trust no one. He said something about... Corruption. He told me not to use glyphs until things got sorted out. Has Gamal done something to the glyphs? I don't think so. I think he meant they might do something to us. Alright. I'm gonna assume their patrol patterns are the same as people who have been here before. Anyway, the loot is all the same, I'm guessing, anyway. She just yellow alerted to the book, and I think she green alerted to me before that, so... Let's just be careful. And quick. Nothing wrong with speed. Oh, I've got to tell someone. Oh man. Gotta start moving as soon as the load bar fills, but I discovered back in the tavern that if I'm not careful, I can crash the game, so. Just pop out and grab it, and then see what each of them does. If I suggest hmm. something. It was there before. I'll probably get blamed. All right, so she yellow alerts to the missing book, of course. No surprise there. That's standard. <sighs> oh well. Sometimes you think something's there when there's really nothing. 
it happens. I do wonder what her actual patrol pattern is. She's not walking the loop like the elders before her have done. Stuck over there, apparently. Oh well. The good news is... I know another way out of the Forbidden Library. I got it when I, I found it when I was experimenting back in Day 6 when I couldn't use the door glyph. Go ahead and grab the purse off the homes here. Same as usual. Here, rare book in the same spot as usual. And finally, out here. We've got the gold goblet, the rare book, and the gold goblet in the secret room. Oh, but look, the desk is gone, even though the gold goblet is still there. How odd. Well, since we got some funky business going on downstairs, let's do this. Pretty sure you can do it without taking any damage, once you have the climbing gloves. Just work your way down. <clears throat> of course, no one here is hostile hey, to us. Watch yourself. So now, the library's clear. We can head out. I'm heading to South Quarter next. I'm just going to complete the loop. South Quarter docks, Old Quarter. Then I'll head to Aldale to continue the game. So, out to Stone Market Plaza. Done in the Keeper Library, clearing an area, always worth a real save if you ask me. I just gotta... Navigate. Uh, Damn. Did I, just I always look at the light and the shadows instead of my light gem. It's better just to wall flatten there and move out behind the guard. later with the boys have myself a good one yeah <laughs> of 
for whatever reason, the other Watchmen are all gone, or at least they were. I'm assuming they still are. So I should be able to roll right in the south corner. Awesome. Do south quarter sort of the same way I've been doing it. No enforcer to worry about, so I'll just run backwards to keep everybody from spawning in. Now I'll get the gas arrow. And the broadhead arrows. And the water arrows. Read the crime report and then head into Garrett's building. City Watch Crime Report, District of South Quarter. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of South Quarter. Zero citizens were murdered. Zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head. Four items of valuable property were reported stolen. Zero locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch Authority, signed the Office of the Commissioner. With that, we'll head into Garrett's building right quick. No changes here, just have to visit the landlord's place and your own room if you like to use the practice locks, which I do. My fire is on again, that's nice. No enforcers, also nice. Those are all done. Let's loot the landlord now. He's got his usual two broadhead arrows in the chest. His lock is left down, left up down, like always. And on top of the arrows, today, if I can find it, He's got a silver urn worth a hundred fifty. I'm feeling a little mean tonight. More than a little mean. If anyone even looks at me funny, gonna be some bloody noses. And we'll head back out. Clear the rest of South Quarter, which will be as easy as it's ever ever been. Start with the broadheads at the well. Peasants. Who needs them? Hey, a watchman. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Uh oh. <laughs> Good, I got past him before he could alert. Get the fire arrow out of here. Head over to the watch station now. Get those two broadheads. All 
Alright, we're back to the usual pattern here, which is fine. Next, we'll get the coppers from the merchant stall. Nah, we need more men on this job. As soon as he walks in, we stay crouched, we should be able to get him without comment. That just leaves Black Alley, where if we open up the sewer grate, we can get the water arrow, the good old blackmail money, it's been there since day one, and down by Perry, one moss arrow. And we'll stop by and see Perry too, just cause. Sell him our metal and gems. Uh, I gotta say, I'm still hurt. Time to head to the docks. Clear the docks and then close the loop by heading back to Old Quarter, then into Aldale to continue the game, really. Through to the docks. I'll do a real save here at the start of the docks just because it's another area cleared, south quarter. Now this time I'm gonna break right first. I'll start by getting these coins since I'm taking the old quarter exit evening nice to see you let's get the copper coins out of there worth 25 head down here and I think I should be able to get to the sewers without a comment from the watchman so I can get the water arrow out of there Perfect. Grab the water arrow, wave at the Kershock. Watchman should be past us, which lets us get the gas arrow up here. Huh. Can get the fire arrow out of this torch, because he should be heading toward the tavern passages. He is, that's good. Need to squeak past him as we have the opportunity. Follow this lady. Over to where the abysmal gale used to be parked. Grab the water arrow from the pipe. Glad to see you. Well, the ship is gone, but we have the Watchmen, and I guess we will have them on day nine as well. This is our second to last day in the city. We only have to do this one more time. And we end in the city, not in a mission, in case you were wondering. So, I'll bust into the tavern through the second floor. It's just easier. When there are guards on the ground, especially. <laughs> I 
Just get the usual three things in there. Thought I heard something. Jade Ring. With his patrol route, he's gonna hear those shutters close if he's gonna hear them close. Jade Ring, Copper Fork, and downstairs in the fireplace, a fire arrow. With all that nabbed, we'll head back upstairs. We'll get out the way we came in. I think that's easier with two watchmen and without a ship to sneak through. Well, that time he didn't hear anything. Go figure. He's headed out to the pier, which makes this a perfect opportunity to get to this tunnel and keep moving. Excellent. If he's up there, I think he's about to head down the street, if I remember right. So I should be able to just follow him. Remember right, he swings very wide. Oh, guess not. No matter, still got by him, that's all that matters. Gonna head over to the pagan territory next. Now for the watchman, I don't know if he's gonna head to Old Quarter or this way. I'll park it in the sewer entrance till I know for sure. He's coming this way, so I can just get in behind him, head in to visit the Pagans. No changes here. Fire arrow here. Gas arrow up here. I think I'll visit Dahlia on the way out, rather than in. Water arrow here. Oh, the moss arrow's back this time. Don't know why it disappeared the f yesterday. I know that was weird because the arrows are there every day. The city tip even says so. Oh well. No real worries. Wasn't Definitely wasn't there yesterday. It's definitely back today. So with that, we can head in here. Flash bomb. Wondered if he was ever going to move. Grab the copper off the bar. 
worth 25 as always. Then I'll head upstairs. Is those things missing? He yellow alerts to the copper being gone, as usual. Upstairs, usual two noisemaker arrows, and cop pile of copper coins in the chest. Hmm. I guess all's good, see. For a second I thought there'd be something there. That's it, so we'll head out. Damn. Timing doesn't get much worse than that. But now that I know he's there, something I should have checked for, if I'm being honest with myself. And just wait for him to turn around and leave. <laughs> oh! Really? I made that exact drop with no damage last time. I just happened to be staring at a pagan. There we go. Guess I'll follow him out. Gotta visit Dahlia on my way out to offload all my artwork. So, oh, what do you have for me? Let's turn right up here, head toward Old Quarter. Looks like good timing. We can just get in behind the Watchmen. Let's read the Docs crime report before I forget. City Watch Crime Report, District of the Docks. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of the docks. One citizens were murdered. That must be the body that I picked up and dumped into the water. Zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head. Five items of valuable property were reported stolen. One locks were unlawfully picked open. It's interesting that that shows up here, but it doesn't show up as a kill in any of my campaign stats. The crime reports just don't quite work right. That much should be obvious. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch authority, signed to the office of the Commissioner. Don't forget to grab the fire arrow on your way into Old Quarter. Now all we have to do here is cross into Aldale. Without getting nailed by anybody, of course. There's the cradle. That literal nightmare is over. I wouldn't call it a figurative nightmare, though. I think it's by far the best mission in the game. Guess we can just shadow him to start.
how goes the city? The back? There's something rustling. Uh -oh. yes. All right, seems to be a city watch party on the street, so I'd better get up to the fences and get to high ground and get to Aldale that way. You guys do good work. It's like we only get paid for that job once. Not every day. If Mr. Brent is dead, how is he still dropping coins in there every day? Who knows? How goes it then? Hey. Alright, well, they're right underneath me, so I need to be careful about noise. Okay, well, I'm seeing what happened now. There are times when he just does not do what you want him to do. Like there, I wanted him to attach to the wall. Uh-uh. It's for your own good, Garrett. Uh-uh. <laughs> Alright, now I remember how I did this. Got on the wall to the left. Crept all the way down. For a second. Oh no. Did I just see something? Oh for goodness sake. Alright, well we've added a patroller since yesterday. Who just nailed me while I was trying to make my climb. jumped at my own shadow. Screw you. I'll take a green alert. How goes it then? Evening. Yeah, he's not quite in the same position as before. He's, a. Uh pointed a little bit to the right and he's set farther back, so I don't think I can avoid that green alert anyway. I'm heading into Aldale, see you there. It may be possible, but honestly I just get so fed up with these huge long city sections by the end. There's only one mission left and it's not as good as the cradle. Although there is one thing that makes it very cool. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Aldale. City Watch Crime Report, District of Aldale. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of Aldale. Zero citizens were murdered. Zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head. Zero items of valuable property were reported stolen. Twelve locks were unlawfully picked open. 
The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch Authority, signed to the Office of the Commissioner. Alright, well, I'll start out the same way I did in Day 7. Like I said, I haven't done a practice run for here, for the museum, or for the last day, so... There's my gas arrow. Oh, let's just drop down. Another gas arrow up here on this roof. <laughs> Damn it, didn't want that. Thankfully, there's no one around here. Well, let's try that again. This time, I think I'll just climb down to the ground and do it that way. So we can get the fire arrow out of this torch. Two broadheads on top of this crate. Alright, nothing's changed here. Except the pagan is actually patrolling like he's supposed to. Somehow the pagans went back to being hostile to me. I think I stole from them too many times. So, yeah, he's on his way back. Oh, what is he doing now? So we need to get the oil flask out of the cart. Not these put me in dead stone. The card will roll, don't be alarmed. Climb up the wall. Get over here. Get on this edge. Uh oh. I was gonna say, I don't want him to fall just yet. I need to get into the pagan zone. <coughs> Damn it! <sighs> Sorry, folks. Oh man. Let's try again. All the way up. quick save here and you know it might be easier just to start on the edge let's do that 
instead of trying to climb around it. There we go. Alright, I'm hoping I can get into the pagan territory this way again. I be here the muckamuck. And the ruggedy toads. Them tellers me it has to be times to eat now. See, yes. Time to eat those. I be here to ruggedy toad. Those two look like they're supposed to be having a conversation, don't they? But they're not doing it, so... I know someone bees there. Come out! Yeah, they saw me. Two new AIs. That, always, that can always make trouble. Try and figure out what to do about these guys. Hey, over there. What is there? Did you hear? See, Diane bees having more visionings about them. There it is. I could tell they were supposed to start talking. I wondered why they weren't doing it. Now, of course, I wonder how I can get to the point where they'll start. Maybe speed. B C Z. What? Are you bees ready to get back to work? didn't see anything. They both only greened. As you can see, he just tried and failed to start his patrol. So let's carefully move around here. Move, see something? He greened again. Works, I guess. Really, do I have to like cross into the light to get these two to talk? It's acting that way, isn't it? Did you hear? See, Diane bees having more visionings about them hammerheads. They be dead in sandalwood and her bunch yesterday. My bees will feed her on them fleshes. Yes, them hammerheads. But of other things too, like them city head Garrett. And something that bees unnatural. Close by, here's the them canals. Unnatural? What bees you mean? Bees I not know, but bees worse than a hammerhead. Worse than anything. Worse than a hammerhead? How bees you know? Because I bees saw Diane's face after her visioning. There we go. I'm not sure what all respawns in here. Okay, the copper coin by the window does. I think this is Larkspur. That's what I'm gonna call him. Larkspur's copper bowl respawns. Awesome. What do I do here? 
have us a feeling mm -hmm. about tonight. Huh? What bee's this? A minute? The bees know I had it a second ago. You checks over there. Did he see, see me? These two jumpings. Oh. Didn't even know that. Good to know. I was just trying to pickpocket the shaman, but apparently I need to steal Diane's magic amulet off the bench. And I can use it to open the pump house and get to the canal. May why yeah. mead be plentiful for you. Alright, well, let's do it. Noisings. Wait a minute. My bees. Oh, the bees. Care the bees. Damn. Would he watch you? Well, before I forget other stuff. Oh, okay, there it is. Let's take a detour to grab that moss arrow. Let's try and get the two broadheads off this bench. <gasps> Damn. Too slow, and as you can see, that other entrance is packed today. So I'll have to do things in a similar order to yesterday. Would he watch you? I need to see if anything. Okay. Well, this is all going to add up to a serious pain in the ass, people. Everything on that little roof seems to have respawned, so I'm going to have to get up there. Beefy Lord protect him willings. I don't like my chances. Is the vision he's come more frequently? Is they more troubling? Something is coming. Something. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Counts me in. What's going on? Is she just always happening to turn at precisely the right moment? Is that what this is? Or is it something more complicated than that? I don't know. Would he watch you? Oh, it's him.